Uh, I also painted my timing cover. And I put the seal in there. Not, not a lot of fun. So the brighter blue, that's where I painted the, the duller blue is the powder coating. That's behind the water pump. You don't see that anyway. So it took out pretty good. A lot of it you can't really see. But it's hidden behind a lot of stuff on your any cars all put together, but came out pretty good. So I thought I'd test fit my water pump and uh, timing cover just to make sure I had all the right hardware. I ordered some new bolts because uh, well, the water pump bolts they get pretty nasty looking. And uh, I don't know if you can tell, you can't tell through the bag, but one of these bolts has a much finer thread than one on the left. It's not a 5 16 by 18. I don't know what it is. I didn't have a tap that fit it or, you know, or a die. So uh, it's got a little tapered. You can't even focus. It's got a little tapered tip to it. It was just kind of threaded in there until it's stuck. I don't know what the heck was going on. So I don't even want to know what it was threaded into. I'm hoping it was just threaded um, into the timing cover and not into the block. But anyway, I ran my little. Uh, my thread chaser. Where is it here? I ran my thread chaser through all of the bolt holes and none of them seemed to be buggered up. So I don't know what was going on. But anyway, uh, I also ordered new um, timing cover bolts. The ones I had weren't too bad. They're they're kind of cool. That's anyway. They say they say Ford on them. They're kind of cool. What you can see there on the left. The, the chrome is flaking off. They're pretty cheap. Uh, I have not found any other ones uh, like this. So I couldn't get a replacement. And all I had was a set of these for the timing cover. I also have another set that goes around the oil pan, which you never see. And I have a set for the intake. So I don't know where they got them from. I uh, definitely got them from China or something. But they back out. So uh, the washers that had those on there they are so flimsy it's not even flat that, and you don't even torque these down tight but they're just so cheap uh, anyway I got a new hardware from uh, eBay whatever name they come with washers and lock washers not real crazy about those kind of split lock washers like that but anyway so it looks like I have um, all the bolts covered and they all seem to be the right length, which was uh, a little shaky. This one I can't quite screw in without putting a lot of pressure on it. So it threads into uh, the timing cover. I need to just chase those threads a little bit more. All the rest went in super easy because I cleaned them out. And this one is super long. Well, all right, it looks like my water pump and timing cover on but it's not really installed I have to take it back off when I was putting it on um, I noticed there's a problem let's see if I can get the light down there you can see how close the water pump comes to the I don't know if you can see it anyway right where that pink dot is the water pump is almost touching the harmonic balancer and it's too close for my comfort. I'm gonna have to take it back off and grind it. So what happened was, uh, first thing I did was take the backing plate off the water pump and I put a light coat of RTV around the seal, put it back on. So at that point I was, you know, I was dedicated. So I installed the timing cover um, with the seal, lined it up put my balancer on so that it's centered on the seal. And then I put all my bolts in. I put seal on all the bolts. I don't really think they go on any jackets, but they're sealed anyway. Then I put the water pump on and I put RTV on the gasket on the back and I slid it on there and I noticed it was rubbing on there. So I had to quick take it back off. I had to get that timing cover torqued down. I, and the four or five bolts, I don't know how many is it? Well, maybe it's six bolts that hold it on weren't gonna be enough to evenly torque it. So I had to take the water pump back off, quick clean that surface off. And then I had a spare gasket luckily because the pump came with one. 
Um, so I quick put it back on and torqued everything down because I wanted this timing cover at least to be installed correctly. So, ran into another snag while I was torquing it down. Um, I had checked all these bolts before for length and they seem to be okay. I hand tightened them all in. However, this one, yeah, the threads just don't grab. And so, uh, remember I used to have this weird bolt that came out. So, and you can see, look at the threads. The threads aren't even the same pitch. I don't know if you can tell. So this is the bolt that came out. It's got a, it's got like a tapered tip in it. So it kind of like, I don't know it's, what kind of bolt it is. I don't know what the thread pitch is. It's definitely not the same. I don't even think it's a fine pitch. It might be a metric bolt. I have no idea. So it says 9.8 on the end. Anyway, that's where that strange bolt came from. And evidently this thing had been stripped out before. Uh, where are we? And they had just run it through like that. You know, and that's how it should be sitting on there. So I'm not going to put that back in unless I absolutely have to because this thing's hideous looking. So I think what I'll do is I have two choices. I can try getting a larger bolt. Uh, it's a 5 16 I don't know if a 3 8 bolt will fit to that hole. It is a fairly big hole. Uh, or I can get a longer bolt. And maybe there's some threads on the back end it can grab onto. Or, worst case, put a nut on it, which is going to look absolutely hideous. But uh, I don't I don't think I can put a, a helicoil insert in there. It's just going to be expensive to buy a whole kit to do all that, unless you can just buy a, a small one. That, that might be an option, too. I'll see if I can buy a single coil uh, helicoil kit. That would probably be the best. I can use this bolt. Although this bolt is a little short. It doesn't, doesn't really grab onto much. So... And then with the washer on there. So just going to buy a quarter inch bolt. I like these bolts, they're polished, but maybe if I just buy a stainless bolt, I can polish it myself and then uh, we won't really notice the difference. So that's where I am right now. So I'm gonna take this water pump back off, grind some clearance in there because that is almost touching there. And then I will put my pointer on. Um, it's about top dead center right now, but I'm gonna check it with a micrometer and put my pointer on. This timing cover comes with multiple timing uh, marks. So this is what I'm going to use right there. See my pointer mounts right there.